What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this beautiful Thursday night, November 10th, 2022. It is about uh, 8.36 p.m. California time, and the latest quick up here on the globe shows a 1.5 into the area of Alaska. Uh, looking at the latest activity here in the white rings on the Earthquake 3D globe here shows a pretty good cluster of movement uh, around the Philippines southward throughout the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, also some activity kicking up South America and also into uh, looks like portions of the Middle America Trench there. Puerto Rico kicking up as well. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity up here on the map. Uh, USGS showing a 4.1 just off the coast of Nicaragua. 57 kilometers deep, kind of at the southern end here of the Middle America Trench. Uh, also some activity kicking up once again around the Puerto Rico area. Quite a few twos and threes getting a little cluster of earthquakes once again here around the British Virgin Islands area. Gonna watch that pretty closely. We have been seeing a pretty good swarm of activity there recently in that area. Uh, South America, nothing showing up here above 4.0. Most of that activity on the globe uh, is going to be in the microquake department. Uh, quite a few twos and threes down there along the Peru chili trench region all right let's see what else we got here into the states lighten up just a little bit around texas outside of pecos although down south here we're noticing a little bit of migration here of the earthquake swarm uh, and swarm because most of the activity has been con confined here to the western portion of uh, just outside of pecos texas here so let's see what we got for the satellite imagery uh, in this, wow, in this maze of oil rigs and oil pumping operations out here, there's a lot. Um, and literally within feet, we got um, a lot of them here. 2.5 at 5 kilometers deep and a massive oil field out there in the desert of Texas. Uh, this area very dry. Man, quite a bit. So uh, with this type of activity and the movement that we've seen earlier this morning as well, uh, I wouldn't doubt if we start seeing some larger earthquake activity out here in this area of Texas. Uh, keep an eye on it. There's oil fields all over the place. Uh, let's see, in Oklahoma as well, getting a little bit of movement into the, well, it looks like around the Prairie Valley area. 1.6. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. kind of hard to tell um these almost those are some windmills out here that's what those are i can kind of see the shadows right there the the wind giant wind turbines out there turbines uh there is some it's hard to tell if these are some older um uh, oil fields out here good possibility it could be but uh we'll keep an eye on that see if that increases or not uh, let's see, New Madrid zone. We did have some activity from earlier this morning. Nothing throughout the afternoon or evening. Some small microquakes there early this morning. Into the Pacific Northwest. I want to skip Yellowstone real quick here. Let me see what we got. Uh, um, looks like most of this activity from way earlier. Let me bring up the latest map here. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, there we go. Right in the middle. How can I miss it? As uh, far as localized activity goes here in this area, looks like the majority of that was earlier uh, throughout the afternoon time frame. Just a couple small microquakes around the Yellowstone area. No major swarms, no magma movement, no doom and gloom um, on this map or graph. Uh, into the Pacific Northwest, a little bit of activity outside of Mount Rainier and also Mount St. Helens. Uh, a couple quarry blasts as well throughout the Washington region. Uh, Oregon pretty quiet. N the uh, Northern California region, uh, we did see a 2.0 here in the Northern California area just offshore into the Cascadia subduction zone and the Cascadia megathrust area, of course, sits right here to the west. Now, i got to remember this is the uh, basically the plate boundary where the subduction zone happens. Uh, and then inland, if you want to point here towards the map, well, is how it, it kind of gets deeper. Uh, far as that subducting goes and this earthquake here was 18 kilometers deep not quite as deep as the trimmer it's kind of upstream actually kind of closer towards the locked area the locked area is a portion 
uh, that sits within this zone of the Cascadia and it uh, definitely extends all the way up into the north uh, off the coast of Vancouver Island ranges um, and it ends right here about the Queen Charlotte Sound area but I uh, did see a little earthquake there today in the uh, in a little interesting zone 2.0 uh, on that, that topic let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map here tonight and most of it there is in Northern California uh, a verification there of the uh, pressure kind of back building up onto the locked area uh, trimmer down dip downstream here about 35 45 kilometers deep well south or well, well south not south but uh, um, deeper than what we've seen uh, the activity here earlier kind of up towards the uh, the locked area so a little bit of trimmer kind of uh, uh, showing the stress being built up here along that area let's see northern california rest of northern california a uh, little bit of movement around the coastal range here uh, and also some activity around the cobb mountain region 21 earthquakes a couple of those within the last hour uh, of course the calpine hydrothermal operations they're ongoing strong bay area pretty quiet one earthquake here just off the san andreas fault it looks like that one coming in earlier this morning about midnight or so 1.1 outside of pacifica uh, the rest of the state, uh, nothing going on throughout Long Valley Super Volcano. Pretty quiet up there. We did see a little bit of activity around the Ridgecrest earlier today and also across portions of the Garlock Fault shear zone, including a recent one of 1 1.4 uh, listed up here on the map. A little spotty activity throughout the southern portion of the state. Uh, did have a little bit of earthquake activity here within the last couple hours, just outside of the Banning area. Uh, and a 1.4 13 kilometers deep again just off of the san andreas fault the southern segment uh, gotta watch that pretty closely there all right let's see alaska got some activity kicking up it looks like throughout the uh day today and over the last hour uh getting a little bit of swarming up here to the north of the cook inlet area yeah let's see a little bit of activity outside of the brooks or the alaska range as well and um yeah, just a little bit of uptick. Definitely been noticing it uh, over the last couple days here. Haven't really seen too much adjustment down here, or uh, yeah, down here along the subduction zone. But uh, if we continue to see that, might want to watch for some possible larger quakes in that area. Uh, Curl Kamchaka Trench. This one here from uh, earlier this morning. It looks like seven o'clock for a 4.4, and a little bit further south. A more recent quake here this afternoon, a 4.5. So we're seeing a little bit of adjustment here, uh, but nothing like I'm thinking we're going to be seeing here pretty soon. That's definitely an area of uh, interest. Around the Fiji Islands area, Tonga Trench. Got a couple earthquakes here earlier uh, this morning and also this afternoon time frame. Noticing a little bit of further deep movement here. Uh, south of the Fiji area into the Tonga Trench, down there about 454 kilometers for that 4.4. Vanuatu area, uh, getting in on some activity as well. Earlier this morning, of course, seen a couple fours kicking off, including that 5.2 though. Um, little spotty activity throughout the Indonesia area. Of course, remember, we've seen quite a few threes and some other earthquakes listed up here on the map. USGS not going to be showing that because these are all below the 4.0 threshold but uh, definitely a couple earthquakes here around the Philippines showing up and that's going to be these earthquakes here 4.9 and a 4.5 happening earlier this afternoon a couple deeper movement quake activity there outside of Manila with that 4.9 up around the uh, Myanmar area got uh, northern India a 5.4 at um, looks like about 20 kilometers deep that was coming in yesterday late last night it looks like little activity uh, further building up here across this region uh, coming in this afternoon a 4.2 at uh, 10 kilometers deep might want to watch this whole area here we really haven't seen any sufficient uh, large-scale activity let me see what we got over the last 30 days, 4.5 and above. A little spotty throughout the region. Of course, we did have a 5.7 shaking things up out there in the uh, Nepal area. Uh, but I think this area, this plate boundary here, definitely capable of producing something much, much larger 
and I don't recall the last time we've seen a major earthquake out here. Let me, uh, I'm going to pull up the uh, earthquake catalog here. This is a pretty cool feature to use if you want to go back and look at um, earthquake activities historically. The USGS provides a, um, a beautiful um, design here to go back and pick up earthquakes. I'm going to pick up just this area right about here. And it will probably include quite a few, but I'm looking for the plate boundary earthquakes that uh, we were looking at there on the map. And there's a couple seismic areas here that uh, have a gap in them. And that could be the area that we could be filling in for some of these larger quakes. Uh, historically, definitely a lot of earthquake activity. Um, let's see what the largest one out here in 8.6 back in 1950. That's well to the east of our uh, zone here. 8.0 in Nepal. That's a little bit further to the southeast as well. Uh, it's in these seismic gap zones that we could be filling in. I haven't really seen a lot of uh, great activity there in a while. Um, what do we got up here? That was a 7.9 back in 1905. So this area I think is kind of primed here for some potential movement uh, up against the Himalaya Mountains there along this plate boundary. Definitely uh, a a worried area um, it's a major subduction zone here you notice on the plates here got the india plate uh the eurasia plate a little subduction here with the uh, uh two arrows pointing together here and um yeah definitely gotta watch that Let's see uh go back to the um map here usgs map we'll definitely keep an eye on it it's kind of been showing some signs that uh uh, we're definitely building some pressure out there in that area. So just be on guard out there around northern India. Uh, not a whole lot of further pressure here to the west. A little bit of activity, it looks like, um, yesterday and also early this morning. Another 4.4 in Italy. Of course, aftershock activity will continue along that plate boundary for a little while. Nothing going on across the Atlantic Ocean. And um, Alaska lighten up like crazy there but uh so far no major quakes going on there's trident volcano uh that is kicking up a little bit it looks like uh, i believe that's trident volcano yep a couple small earthquakes uh, within that area and the volcano hazards map here let's go ahead and check that out real quick uh see if i can bring that up here uh, i know there's a lot a lot of volcanoes across this area of the Aleutian Trench. There's Trident right here. And I want to check out the, um, see if there's any updates or anything. Doesn't look like there's any updates as uh, far as, um, oops, recent activity goes. And of course we can do uh, a little look at the um, seismograph station here. But um, let's see here. Uh, it's going to be way overloaded. Overlo Those are all images and whatnot. We'll come back and look at some of these uh, seismographs another time. Um, keep use keep losing my USGS page here. But either way, this thing this area has been swarming a little bit. A little bit of activity here and there. Uh, no major unrest. But um, still, any type of earthquake activity around a uh, volcano is definitely worth noting. Uh, the Big Island seems like it's kind of calmed down a little bit here. Uh, most of the activity uh, over around the Pahala area and uh, looks like earlier this afternoon time frame. Nothing within the last hour, which is good news. And um, let's see what we got for the volcano hazards here across the Mauna Loa region. Let me zoom in just a little bit. See if I can find Mauna Loa hiding out here. Uh, maybe. There we go. I want to check out their update uh, from this morning. Um, looks like that was put out uh, earlier this morning time frame. Uh, currently not erupting. Looks like 44 small magnitude earthquakes over the last 24 hours. Uh, also had a 3.6 earthquake yesterday. Occurred on the northwest of the summit. 
Um, looks like all gas and co gas concentrations remain stable at the summit and sulfur cone on the upper south re southwest rift zone. Uh, doesn't look like anything has changed. So these swarms are kind of coming and going, but definitely worth uh, watching pretty closely here because things can change in a blink of an eye, that's for sure. Alrighty, what else we got here, folks? Um, I think that is about it for earthquake activity. We checked out Tremor, Yellowstone National Park. Again, not a whole lot swarming there. Space weather activity, kind of crackling a little bit with some uh, sea flares over the last couple hours, and um, that looks like looks like it's trying to get up there around the M range. Now I know this is coming off of. Actually, look right here. You can, Wait a minute, where'd that image go? Kind of see it on here. It's a little bit more of a of a uh, defined flare. Uh, so we know exactly where that's coming from. Looks like that's coming from 3141. And there is a growing spot here. Let me see what we got. This, this area right here looks like it's getting a little bit more complex. Notice the closeness here of these two polarity uh, of the magnetic structure here. Um, close very close together so that will create some flaring and uh, looks like that's developing a little bit more of a uh, potential for a of a uh, complex magnetic field which would create these flares um, looks like they've renamed another section up here 3145 but uh, 3141 has a possibility looks like that is starting to kick up a little bit here when was this image taken here? Kind of hard to tell. Uh, I think that's a recent image. If that's true, notice these are very close here. The blue and the red uh, are definitely close and growing in size. That would make it a little bit more possible for a uh, flaring to take place. 50% chance for C flare, M flare at 10, and X flare around one. It does harbor a beta gamma delta class magnetic structure on the field, uh, magnetic field. So we'll watch that closely. It looks like things are starting to pick up. And, and that image right here, uh, it's disappeared now. But it was coming off of this portion over here um, along 3141. So watch that pretty closely there, folks. Uh, let's see here. No major coronal holes facing us. No major expected uh, events. Again, when these sunspots are directly lined up at us, anything that does pop off will be directed at earth so uh, even if we get a pretty good m flare with a um, a subsequent cme uh, that could be directed at earth more than likely with the uh, current uh, position of that sunspot uh, let's see here other than that uh, we'll keep an eye on it see if it uh, develops further overnight uh, again this kind of reminds me of some popcorn getting ready to pop or sizzle on the uh, you know the pan popcorn pan the old-fashioned way but uh, definitely watch that pretty closely all right folks again that's just kind of shows you how easy or how quickly things can change in a matter of 24 hours 12 hours there on the Sun uh, last night wasn't looking likely in fact it looked like those sunspots were decaying pretty rapidly but um, perhaps 3141 wants to make the uh, wants to make the show so we'll see if it can do that overnight uh, maybe tomorrow all right folks have a good day good night uh, i'm kind of tired just enjoying the rest of the evening here with missy mimi's uh we're, we appreciate all your happy birthday wishes there on the post on youtube and um she does have a facebook page and of course youtube channel so if you can go over and wish her a happy birthday she has been seeing all the uh all the comments on the videos as well so she appreciates it i appreciate it just got through having a, a pretty good dinner pretty full pretty stuffed and i'm uh, just going to enjoy the rest of the evening here tonight and uh, uh relax a little bit so all right folks catch you guys a little bit later on uh, coming up on nine o'clock here so getting close to that bedtime have a good night folks catch you guys a little bit later peace out